Okay, uh, we are going to do two examples on subtracting mixed numbers with renaming. All right, so let's, let me turn the, there we go, a blank screen. Uh, let me pick two problems off the top of my head. Let's do, let's go three, let's do three and two thirds minus one and four fifths. Okay, so three and two thirds minus one and four fifths. First thing that you'll want to do here is let's look at our whole numbers. So we see we have three holes and we have one hole. All right. So let's, since we know we're subtracting, let's subtract our holes right from the start. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, let me change color, will be we're going to do our three holes minus one hole equals two holes. So that's going to be our step, step one. Okay, so we have two holes. So now underneath, I'm going to rewrite our problem which will be two and two thirds minus four fifths because I subtracted the whole. So now you'll see when you do this, it's going to make this first, this first mixed number easier to work with because I'm already subtracting the whole. So I don't have that hole anymore. And that is going to be really be two holes. So now I'm working down here, two and two thirds, minus four fifths. So let me go to a, well, no, I'll fit it all on the same, we'll do it all on the same page. So what I will have to do here is I'm going to take my two and two thirds and I'm going to, I'm going to convert my two and two thirds into an improper fraction. And this is going to help us because we're not going to have to do um, we're not going to have to regroup, which is an additional skill all in itself. So I'm going to take my two and two thirds, and we know here we do three times two is six, six plus two is eight. So really we have eight thirds. So two and two thirds is equal to eight thirds. So now I'm going to rewrite it over here, 8 thirds minus 4 fifths. Okay. Now we could just subtract, subtract these fractions because we know 8 thirds is the greater fraction because it's greater than 1 and 4 fifths is less than 1 because 5 fifths would be a whole. So this is set up correctly. So I'm going to find my common denominator first by doing 3 times 5 which gives me 15. Now I'm going to do my cross multiplication. I'm always going to start. I want to find this amount on the left-hand side. 5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. And then I'm going to do 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So 40 minus 12. Uh, this is where I'm running out of room. So 40 minus 12. I will put this up here. 40 minus 12, that's 28. And you'll have 28 over 15. Turn this improper fraction into a mixed number. 15 goes into 28 one time with 13, nope, yes. With 13, with 13 left over, over over 15, so we have 1 and 13 fifteenths, and you will see this is a, this is in simplest form. You can't reduce it because you have the 13 is a prime number, so you can't have the same factors. There's no common factor between 13, 13, and 15. So here, let's see if this is a big... So what we did here was we, we were subtracting our 
subtracting our mixed numbers. And it's very important when we do it this way, when you're subtracting the mixed numbers, is turning them into improper fractions. That This is a strategy I personally think is easier, but you give it, um, give it a shot, all right? So with that being said, let's see how I can do this. Math guy, we'll go math guy. Well, let's do it this way, sorry. Math guy, 